Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, a neurologist from Rajamandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focus Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very interesting topic the E2 pathogenesis of multiple cranial nerve palsies. The E2 pathogenesis of multiple cranial nerve palsies, cranial nerves part 74, multiple cranial nerve palsies part 2. So the E2 pathogenesis of multiple cranial nerve palsies. The intracranial extramedullary or extracranial processes may involve more than one cranial nerve. A disease may involve homologous nerves on the two sides, example bilateral facial palsy or different nerves on the same or opposite sides. In some conditions, a cluster of nerves is involved in a discrete anatomical region. The most common locations of multiple cranial nerve palsies are cavernous sinus, brainstem, individual nerve trunks. And the most common causes are neoplasm, vascular disease, trauma, infection, guillain barre syndrome. The most common cause of recurrent cranial nerve palsies are diabetic, idiopathic. A major consideration when there is a multiple cranial nerve palsy is some process affecting the meninges at the base of the skull. Although infectious and inflammatory conditions are possible, the major condition when there is a painless dysfunction of several cranial nerves over a period of days to weeks is neoplastic meningitis. The most common neoplastic process to involve the meninges are small cell carcinoma of the lung, melanoma and myeloblastic leukemia. A combination of 6th and 12th cranial nerve patches is particularly suggestive of a neoplastic process involving the clivus. The nervous system is involved in 5 to 15 percent of patients with sarcoidosis. About half of the patients with neurosarcoidosis have cranial nerve involvement. The cranial nerves most commonly involved are the second, seventh, eighth cranial nerves. A peripheral facial palsies is the most common presentation of sarcoidosis. So there are many diseases that may involve the multiple cranial nerves. Disease process that may involve multiple cranial nerves are acute infectious meningitis, chronic infectious meningitis, syphilis, Lyme disease, viral infections, meningeal neoplasms, pituitary apoplexy, nasopharyngeal carcinoma, primary clivus or skull based neoplasms, metastatic clivus or skull based neoplasms, cavernous sinus disease like Tolosa Hunt syndrome, mass lesion or others, sarcoidosis which has got a special predilection for 2nd, 7th and 8th nerves, granulomatosis with polyangitis like vaginous granulomatosis, vasculitis, connective tissue diseases, cryoglobulinemia, prepontine mass lesions, skull based trauma, aneurysms like carotid dissection, carotid endotrectomy, bone diseases of the skull base, diaptus mellitus, guillain barre syndrome, Miller-Fisher syndrome, polyneuritis cranialis, amyloidosis, craniocervical junction anomalies, cranial irradiation, idiopathic cranial polyneuropathy, and idiopathic hypertrophic cranial pachymeningitis. So these are all the important concepts of the diseases and the disease process that may involve multiple cranial nerves. The other important concepts of neurology I have put it in a question and answer format in a book written by me focused neurology that is myself Dr. S. Srinivas is the author. This book is available online from all leading booksellers including Amazon. If you are interested this book could be purchased online. I hope you have enjoyed listening to these concepts of etiopathogenesis of multiple cranial nerve palsies. If you have enjoyed it, please like and share the link or please subscribe to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts 
एंड माई एवी पेज डॉक्टर श्रीनिवास कॉन्सेप्ट थैंक यू बाय